Hey everyone, Shaber1000 here. It's a little windy, I'm outside. I'll show you what I'm doing. Just doing a little vlogging today. Trying to burn up some of this wood we got laying around. See what happened the other day. Um, we were selling down to in the street. Monkey came up to get some water. And check on Bruno. This tree limb right here fell. It's not huge, but it's big enough. Fell on the roof of the house. I drug it down off of there. So I'm going to fire up the old saw. I'm not going to do it today. Uh, I'll get that cut up. And once, once it dries out, where it's not so green, I'll burn it. I got a piece of it right there. It's a smaller piece, so I figured I can burn this down a little bit. So, that's what I'm doing today, doing a little vlogging. Uh, like I said, just trying to get some of this stuff picked up. I got some of the palm leaves that's been laying around here. I got some there I'm going to bring over. I got some there in that tree. I don't think that tree is actually ours. Um, but I keep it kind of trimmed up. You can see there where you trim. When you trim these things, now when I cut them, they kind of still grow out some more because I cut them back here as far as I can so that's okay um, I love palm trees this is one of my favorites here I need to do some cutting on it I get to feeling a little better probably this spring these things man just like paper they go up so fast they burn fast they don't leave hardly any coals when those things burn down they pretty much burn to ashes uh, when they get like that so that's what I'm doing got Bruno out here get him tied up he likes to run over there they got dogs go over there's a dickhead uh, one night Bruno was right back here by the back fence, never left our yard. Because his dogs was out. I was in the garage. The monkey come out and went over to get Bruno and he was like, you know, you need to keep your fucking dog on a leash. I catch that dog in my yard, I'm going to fucking kill it. She come in and said, you hear what he said? I said, no. And she told me I went out. I said, hey. Hey, motherfucker, come here. You threatened to kill my dog. He ran in the house. Well, the other day I seen him. And uh, when I was down there selling, he didn't recognize me. He pulled up. He's trying to sell a chain hook. I said, he's just a man I wanted to see. I said, too bad my dog ain't down here because I'd love to see you try to kill him. Oh, man, I didn't know that was you, blah, blah, blah. I didn't know it was your dog and all this shit. And his dog... Gets loose every day, every morning you hear him hollering for at least an hour for his dogs. Because they get loose and they've been in this yard many times. I never threatened to kill nobody's dog. And he's like, oh, I said, dude, just get on down the fucking road. Don't you ever fucking talk to me again. And you ever talk to my woman like that again. I said, I'll kick your ass. You know, I don't give a shit. I'm threatening to kill my dog and you damn sure don't talk to my woman like that, you know. But anyway, so this is what I'm doing. Just kind of burning up here. Thought I'd kick the camera off for a little bit. It's late in the afternoon. It's about 2 o'clock. I've been actually taking it easy today like I'm supposed to. And I feel bad about it. So, um, you know, I just don't like to sit around. These are my new boots. My new Wolverines. 
I'll never own another pair of work boots that's not Wolverine. So, I love these things. They're so comfortable. First time I ever put on a pair of Wolverines, that was it. I knew that was the boot I was going to buy from now on. So, yeah, uh, the bees have calmed down over here quite a bit because it's cold out right now. You can see I'm wearing my jacket. I got a hoodie on underneath this, but there's a couple flying around. I don't want to get too close, but uh, once it gets a little colder, you know, I'm going to have to extract them somehow. That, from where I burned it out that one time, it didn't get them all, and that hole's like a foot deep at least, and I didn't get them all. <laughs> so I don't know how far down in it is or how big around, but I'll have to do something with them. Once it gets colder, I'll probably uh, put some soapy water down in it, put some soap, dish soap down in it, and then uh, turn the water hose on it for a while. That's supposed to get rid of them I hear that really does work so I mean it's worth a try uh, there's I saw an ad on Craigslist they'll come and remove bees but I know what bees they're wanting they're wanting honey bees because they get the honeycombs and stuff uh, I don't think they're going to deal with these ground hornets um, so anyway I'll cut you back on here in a minute uh, I'm gonna throw some more stuff on this fire and um, get it burned down a little bit. We'll make some steaks. We got a deal on some steaks on a package of T-bones. Uh, pretty cheap. I can't remember what they were, but there's like five of them in there and they were ungodly cheap, but they look like good cuts of meat. So I'm gonna cook us up a couple of them tonight. I don't know if I'm gonna do it on the fire because it's so windy, get a lot of ash in it and stuff. So I may just uh, bake them in the oven. Uh, maybe about four o'clock I'll put them in the oven because she should be home between 5 5 30 ish it's hard to tell you know if she gets another patient or or whatever it could be later or if she has someone canceled it could be sooner so it's kind of hard to gauge it like that but I'll make sure you know I try to make sure she has something hot to eat when she gets home or at least pretty close to being ready so hang tight guys and and I'll be back with you in a minute okay so what I decided to do, what I was going to do today was I was going to make my homemade charcoal. You know, you guys have seen that video, I'm sure. If not, check it out. It's a pretty good video. Real useful to outdoorsy people like me. And like you, if you so happen to be one. But what I'm going to do is I think, just like I did last time, only instead of my charcoal damn trucks they shouldn't be allowed to ride up this road drive up this road man because i mean the asphalt's not made for a heavy truck it's only what like three inches of base coat and an inch of top coat but anyway i'm going to take some of those those coals when i get ready to cook the sticks i've got them marinating right now i've got three of them uh marinating i put two in the freezer i'm going to put them on there kind of like when i made my homemade charcoal and I'm going to show you the grill I'm going to use. Uh, I, I mentioned it in one of my videos. I actually have two of them. I may keep them both. One I'm kind of using for a sign. To hold a sign right now. But uh, So I think that's what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to put it on that tray there. Put my coals on that tray. And then I'll put my, my, uh, my barbecue grate over top of that. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. I think that's what I'll do. And I'll just shovel... I'll just, I got some shovels over there. I'll just take a shovel and I'll put some hot coals right directly on there. Which, that is a table, which what I'd like to do, and I know Monkey's not going to let me do it. I think that would be the perfect grill. That little table, just, sit, you know, set it right over top of some coals. What do you guys think? I think it would be perfect. Now it wouldn't be adjustable, but you can adjust it by raising your fire up and down by adding more more uh, fuel to it or whatever. This is out of the uh, that's out of the propane grill, which it's getting pretty 
it's getting you know about that time it's uh it's time to take the burners out and just make it a charcoal grill what i'm thinking about doing is making it a smoker i'll show you what i'd like to do is make it a smoker uh show you what's going on with it yeah see the covers these were covers that you know once went over top of the burners so if i take them burners out of there i bet you i can make a hell of a smoker with this with that hole right there oh there's one on this side uh make me a smoke box over here or something i think that's what i'll talk to her about it and see if and i think that's what i'll do i mean we used it a lot she's had it for a few years um she bought it at rural king and she hates rural king because she thought it should have lasted longer but i mean it still works it just gets rusted out this happened when it blew over during the storm uh, i had a full tank in there and i thought that would hold it down but it didn't i don't know what this is from but yeah i think that'd be what do you guys think leave it in the comments below and tell me what you think should i make out a smoker that would be cool it wouldn't be hard to do that way i can have a smoker and charcoal grill or i can also have that i would love to do that with that little table but we use it when we're out here you know to set our drinks on and stuff when we're out here by the fire but um yeah that would that wouldn't that that would be perfect that'd make a perfect grill put my coals down under there or whatever wood whatever i'm using and there it is make a perfect grill all right so i'm gonna let that burn down some more then i'll go in and check on my steaks but yeah that's so i just wanted to hang out with you guys a little bit today at least feel like i'm doing something i have a i have some footage of uh when we went to see the porpoises or the manatees sorry um monkeys uploaded this morning so you'll see hers probably if you're subscribed to her if not please go check out monkey 1000 you can find her down below my channel um but she she done one and we got some good footage of the uh, manatees coming in um so i'll get that maybe this week or this coming weekend but or it may end up in an archive video but uh i'll get that up but it's go i'm going you know i got a lot of editing to do on that one but this is just going to be a vlog just a wednesday vlog tuesday vlog i think i said wednesday earlier but it's only tuesday so you know you might not see it till wednesday but so that's what i'm doing i'm just vlogging around so I, i'm just gonna uh you know when i do something i'll i'll kick you on um yeah i'm gonna let that burn down so that that oak should be that's that water oak or is it live oak i think it's water oak anyway that's that's oak so those coals they should be they should make that those t-bones taste pretty good uh, they look like they're pretty good cut but they were on sale so they must be trying to get rid of them so hopefully they won't be tough but we'll just have to see i'll just cook them really slow and i'll take you along with me for that um so that'll be interesting and uh, by then maybe monkey will be home and we can get her try oh we also have some uh corn on the cob that's already cut up it's frozen but that's okay i'm going to thaw out some of them um, i'm going to wrap them up in aluminum foil and throw them down there in the fire so that should be pretty those should be pretty good too and i also have some potatoes i think i'm going to do the same thing with um put them in a, a tin foil and put them down in the coals but um, we'll just have to see on that but anyway, I'll take you along with me on that, which will be, it'll be a few seconds for you, but it's going to be a little bit for me yet, because um, it'll take a while to cook, 
but so I'm going to put them on here shortly so I'll take you along with me for that little adventure of cooking on the fire well coals same thing um, so hang tight guys I'll be back with you in just a second okay so this is what we're going to do we got this stuff I know I know it's not homemade well technically no but you know it's fine whoops drop a piece on the floor I'm guessing my buddy Bruno will find that Okay. I'm just gonna roll this right up in here like this. Okay. I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil on it. Alright, now I'm gonna get some seasoning. So I just got this Lowry season salt here. Then we can salt and pepper it later. Um, I usually put it in like right now, but uh, I like her to add what she wants and then I'll add what I want. Um, we both like the same amount of pepper, but she doesn't like as much salt as I do. So, and this is a little bit of paprika here. Now I'm just gonna I'm just going to make a bag. This is some thin aluminum foil here, guys. So I'm going to have to double this up. Big time. And this is exactly the same way I'm going to do the corn. Only I'm not going to add seasoning. I'm just going to... Uh, I'm just going to, I'm not going to add oil either, I'm just going to add butter in it. So I'm going to do the seasoning the same way. Let me move this out of the way. And now. Got some more foil over there, it may be stronger. Yeah, because this is not working. Let me see if I got... I can't even pick, what the hell? I can't even pick this up. Let me see what other kind of foil I've got over here. This stuff is terrible, man. I don't know what the thickness is, but it's not very good. That's what I'm talking about. This is better. Okay. Yeah, that, that foil there would probably burn right through. Wow. turn it, you know, during cooking, and I don't want it, you know, all running out of there. Uh-oh. Well, okay then, hopefully, this will do it. I don't know if it will or not. Let me move this out of the way. But I'm going to go ahead and use this stuff. 
man. This is ridiculous. I'm just going to try to roll it up in this for a little extra extra support. I like the big giant big giant rolls. So there's our potatoes. Now Let's do some corn. I'm only going to do four pieces. I think it will be enough, but I'm going to have to really double wrap the corn. So let me go get the corn. Okay, so we've got our corn here. I'm going to use some of this spray because I am running low on butter. This is uh, just cornola cooking spray. It's, uh, it's a butter flavor, so it should be all right for this. I'm still going to put some butter in it. But I don't want to put a lot because we're going to need some once this is done cooking. So I'm just going to just use a little bit. Usually I use a whole bunch. But so we're just going to I'm kind of sideways here. So yeah, and this see this is not the uh, this foil is not very wide either. So, wow. So, I'll go like this. That way I can roll the ends of it up. And then I'll do the same thing on this side. About the same length. Now, I'm going to try to roll it like this. Yeah, this will work good. As long as it don't burn through, right? I'll just have to keep an eye on this stuff. So there's our corn, there's our potatoes. There's our corn, there's our potatoes. Let me show you what I've done with the steak. Alright, so this is what I've done with the steak. It's been marinating uh, for about four hours. I've had it at room temperature for about an hour and a half. I've used this stuff. Very good seasoning for steaks and chicken and whatnot. I used uh, a little bit of paprika and of course this a little bit of salt and pepper I put some uh, Creole just just a smidgen of Creole in it from Zatarans and I also put some slap your mama in there not a lot okay but I did put a little so those have been marinating we're going to get ready and take them out here shortly uh, I'm going to let them marinate a little bit longer and then uh, I'll get the fire ready and I'll be back with you guys Okay guys, this is what I got going on here. Got these down in the coals. Just laid them right on top of the coals. There's the uh, corn, there's the potatoes. And I'm waiting on this wood here. It's right down in there where, it's, where the bigger hunks, the bigger hunks of coals are. They're gonna go up on here for the, uh, for the steaks. So these are going to take a little longer so I'm going to let these cook for for a little bit before I put the steaks on so this will take these a little while probably 30 minutes 45 minutes somewhere right in there depending on how hot they get in there so um, but they should be okay they'll start sizzling here shortly once they start sizzling we'll check them out together 
Okay, so I think the corn's done. I think the potatoes might be done. They're under there. I covered them up because they wasn't really cooking that great. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these coals here. And this is what we got set up here for the grill. So I'll put the coals there and I'll go in and get the steaks and I'll put the steaks on. Alright, here we go. I flipped them one time. They got about five more minutes left with the heat of this. About five more minutes. I'll check the internal temperature and then I think it's going to be alright. So, there's our steaks. Uh, there's three of them. Like I said, I froze two. But, uh, so I think, I think they're going to be alright. So I'm going to give them about, yeah, they're pretty warm. I'm going to give them about five more minutes. And then I'll show you what we got. I took the, uh, I took the corn off and the potatoes off, so that's what we're looking at so far. Okay guys, so this is what we ended up with. We've got our T-bone steaks here. We've got our our potatoes. Potatoes, some people will say, oh why do you say potatoes? And we've got our corn monkeys home. Or potatoes. Potatoes? Is that what they call them? <laughs> potatoes? <laughs> So, Potatoes, buddy of mine, Steve, stopped by and I didn't see him. He didn't come around back, so we're trying to figure out, did he just drive past or did he stop? Because Gary stopped. I think I mentioned that earlier, but anyway. So, there's what we ended up with. you want to try a piece of that or? Mm -hmm. Piece of what? What do you want to try? Food. Steak. You want to try the steak? Mm -hmm. Okay, hang on one second, guys. Okay, so she's cutting her off a piece of steak. The one that's on the bottom, and it was on the bottom because that's one I wanted, but that's okay. <laughs> Just kidding, go ahead. That's why right. it's <laughs> to the bottom, so I, you you could have the one, the biggest one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't matter. They're all about the same size. Go ahead, babe. Right. Mm. Oops. That's very good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to try a piece of potato? Mm. And corn's going to be corn, but try the potato. Mm hmm. They're not really going to be flavored like smoke flavor because it was wrapped up, but that is that's very. Oh yeah, because that I, I actually smoked it. So. That's very nice. If we did that with every meat we had. Ooh, yeah. Well, you know, it is cooler outside now, so I can mm -hmm. start doing more of that, and I got plenty of wood to cut up, and that I can do that with. So how that's is good. Very that? Good. That good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the corn's just going to be the corn. So right. All right. So anyway, so this is my vlog. Well, shit. This is my vlog. <laughs> this is your vlog. Yeah, the end of my vlog. So Monkey made it home and she did get home early. So it's a good thing I started when I did because I was telling them sometimes you, you may be later if you get another patient or sometimes you have one cancel, you get home earlier. Right. So I wanted to make sure that I had it warm for you. So there Yay. you go. Nice to be home now. I'm off for two days. Right. <laughs> She's off for two days. We're not going to set up tomorrow because I guess it's supposed to be cold. Um, so we're not going to sell tomorrow. Maybe we'll do something with my cousin. Her cousin is down from Canada. Mm -hmm. So, well, second cousin, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's your... My mother's cousin and my dad's best friend. Yeah. That's how my parents so, met. Yeah, that's how they met. So they'll, we'll tell you that story. Mm -hmm. But, so he, he came down <sighs> Sunday to see her dad. Mm -hmm. And we met him at Crackers. Yep. And we, we was just leaving. Yeah, crackers. You'll see that video. I don't have it up yet, but I'll get to it. Um, so when you do watch that video, at the end of that video, we was walking back to the truck, and he's like, I'm on my way. So yeah. we go to the truck, and we go buy my new boots. We're in a boot store just getting ready to go check out, and he's like, I'm at crackers. She's like, stay put. We just left there. Stay there. We know where you're at. <laughs> so anyway, so that's my vlog for today. So Yep. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Monkey says she's out for now. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Shea Bear, Midman Legend, gone for now. Bye bye, guys. Take care.